Hey guys, check it out. Today we're looking at a little setup that I've made using a Raspberry Pi Model A uh, and three stepper motors. So the first thing to say about this project is I know that the A plus is out, but you don't need the latest latest. The A or the B would work fine for this project and uh, they're forward and backwards compatible. So uh, don't worry if you've got an A, you don't have the A+. Plus. Uh, I still have A's and I use them as often as I use A+. Pluses. This project is forward and backwards compatible. You can use it with, uh, with other things. Basically what we've got here is uh, a couple of stepper motors uh, for a project that I started with my dad in Canada, but we kind of never finished it. So I thought what I'd do today is just show you where we got to and how you could start to use stepper motors yourself. Uh, and basically, what's up with that? So, uh, the first thing, of course, as I was saying, is we've got the Raspberry Pi Model A here. Uh, this is connected to the Wi Fi with the Wi Fi dongle. It's a uh, Wi Fi N, uh, and you can find links to that in the About section below. I'm using Raspbian, as I'm sure you would expect. Uh, and we're using the GPIOs. The GPIO power connects to this little breadboard under here that you can see. And that distributes the power to each of the three stepper motors. Now the stepper motors are uh, listed here as X, Y, and Z because we intended to use this uh, to make our own little CNC machine. And I've got a one channel relay there, uh, which I haven't yet connected, but the plan was to uh, have the relay come on to start the bit spinning boot and then it would go to the correct position using the X, Y, and Z axes. So each of these uh, stepper motors is set up with this little cable. And what I'll do here is I'll just zoom in a little bit closer so we can see exactly what these stepper motors look like. Okay, so we're zoomed in close here on the stepper motor control board. Now, you can see the black and white cables are the VCC and ground connectors. So those are attaching back to the breadboard. And then there are four connectors here which return which return to the Raspberry Pi. The way a relay motor works, as you can see by these LEDs on top here, is unlike a normal motor which uh, you just add power and it kind of spins around. With a stepper motor, each step in the motor involves different magnets switching on and off. There's a great video you can find about stepper motors, and you can find that link on screen now. As we go through each step, you'll see that there's a matrix that needs to be created in the Python code. We'll get more about that in just a minute. Okay, so what we can see here on the left is just my trusty MacBook Air, and I've logged in to the Raspberry Pi Model A over the Wi-Fi, and I've done that with uh, SSH. Those of you who are familiar with my projects, I do use SSH quite often so that I don't need to attach a screen or a keyboard, and it's probably the best way to, to connect to a Raspberry Pi Model A. So here on the left, we're just about to run. You can see I'm already logged into pi at cnancy, uh, cnc, cnancy, you can see why I've done that. Uh, and I'm about to run the script. You can find this source code in the about section below. I'm running sudo python multi-stepper multi underscore 3a. And what 3a lets us do is it lets us put in the number of steps we'd like to take each one going forward. So for example, I might do 128 steps, so you can see how far that is for the first one. For the second one, we'll do 2, 5, 6, and for the third one, or the Z axis, we'll do 5, 1, 2. Ready, and to initiate, I just enter this last value. There's X doing 128, there's Y doing 256, and there's Z doing 5, 12. Now when you can see, as you these run, that these LEDs are blinking so fast that you can't really see them 
they're all just kind of happening at once. What I'll do, just run this again, the exact same number of steps, but this time I'll slow it down so that you can see the blinking LEDs. Okay, well, that's as far as I've got with this project so far. What I'd like to encourage you to do is to take this project and make it your own. I'm not sure how much more development I'm going to put into this, at least not for a while. So if you'd like to turn this into your own CNC machine, take the code and have a bit of fun. You'll find lots of interesting links in the About section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video. Of course, you can buy me a cup of coffee if you found it particularly useful. And check out my other Raspberry Pi projects. I got lots of stuff on the go, lots of really cool projects worth checking out. If you're making any projects with this or any of the other stuff, don't forget to post it in the comment section below. It's always best when we create a little community around these things. I'm sure with this project, as there's so much left to do and innovate, there'll be lots of, uh, lots of opportunity. Anything you'd like to contribute would be great. Thanks again. Hope to see you guys again soon.